The picturesque Ostrike ring the seventh round of the championship on a driver's circuit. And who better to talk about it than the 1967 world champion, Denny Hall. The circuit's got slightly rougher, which I've noticed on all the circuits I've been to previously. They um, got a few more bumps. Old age, I guess that's what you call it. Is it a circuit you like? Yes, it's very, very interesting. Very nice. A true road circuit. And uh, I'd like to think they could still build them like this, but it seems they've condensed more and more into an arena. And I don't think that's really where Formula One cars want to be. At this stage of the 1986 International Touring Car Championship, Lindstrom has three wins with the Volvo, partnered by Chicotto and Ulf Granberg on two occasions. Tom Walkinshaw has two wins, partnered by Wynn Percy as usual. Ford have none, but are proving to be top contenders now, with the cars very much more on form and definitely on the pace. Mercedes and BMW are fighting it out in class two. The BMW mark also have an overall victory at Masano, of course, for Gerhard Berger and Roberto Rivalia. Here, however, in Austria, it's very much a driver's circuit and a fast circuit, as Denny Holm has told us. When Percy looks pensive at the start, the weather here is always unpredictable. And after wet practice, it's turned out to be a hot day. There could be tyre problems. For Volvo, they're anxious to go into the second half of the championship with yet another win to their credit. But Lindstrom and Granberg look relaxed enough prior to the start. Away they go. And straight away, it's a challenge for the lead between Rover and Volvo once more. Ford, too, trying to get in on the pace, and BMW right with them as well. In close proximity like this, it's easy to make a mistake. A Volvo clips a Rover. BMW ends up in the field. No real harm done, but a lot of time lost. In front, however, once again, it's a Volvo Rover battle. Chocotto is determined to get ahead. He does so, and Granberg follows. Ford's pit stop is a slick one. Car number four is running well. Everyone else, however, is afflicted by fuel feed problems. In comes Volvo number one, and there's Olufsen to take over. Granberg races on, but he too must come in for tyres, fuel, and for Thomas Lindstrom to take over. Jeff Allen comes to a temporary halt, adjacent to Walkinshaw's abandoned car. The laps and the minutes tick away. Volvo are in charge. Chicotto and Olufsen lead. Granberg and Lindstrom are in second place. While Dodoni and Muller in the fourth, despite the loss of fourth gear, move up to third. Volvo's first and second at the halfway stage. The presentation and Olufsen tells us how he feels. First and second is tremendous. I can't really believe it. Ziggy Muller tells us about his race for four. It didn't look very bad, I, but I, my feeling was if there was a fourth gear, we were much more in front and we might be able to follow the Volvos. The halfway stage of the 1986 International Touring Car Championship. When Percy leads with 134 points, Tom Walkinshaw second with 121, Thomas Lindstrom third with 120, Johnny Chicotto fourth with 117. On the manufacturer's side, it's Volvo, Rover, BMW, Ford and Holden. Halfway there, now we'll go all the way. 